The Ghana Power & Light Company is preparing the second power ship to deliver an additional 15 megawatts of power as infrastructure work is about to begin on a 69 double circuit transmission line in Georgetown. The transmission line, approximately 4 km in length, will allow GPL to export the extra 15 megawatts where it's needed and improve reliability of supply for customers. The transmission line project is basically a 69 double circuit transmission line that's going to be stretching from this new Georgian substation all the way to our Sophia substation. It is intended to provide GPL with additional capacity from the power ship where we will have the capability to export about 15 megawatts um, additional capacity from the power ship. During construction activities, Samro explained that there will be some disruption with heavy equipment and machinery working in communities, including Tuckville, Durban Backlands and Dennis Street. During construction activities, you will have some sort of disruption with the heavy equipment and machineries that will be working around the area. Um, however, I don't foresee that there will be much interruption to communities directly, but obviously we will have some um, sort of traffic um, interruption in the areas where we will work along the, the, the streets and the, um, the roadways that we will be, especially um, somewhere in North Romveld and that would be Eastern Highway. The design of the transmission line has already been completed and works on the ground is expected to start in one week. We are looking at the completion somewhere at the end of February, early March for this line to be commissioned. Local project manager for car power ship, Neomar Hussein, explains what happens during the construction of the transmission line. We supposed to do a transmission tower, actually a couple of transmission towers during all the roads. In that way, we have to do a foundation. We have to put filings to guarantee the stability of the tower. Then after that, we put a base and then towers and of course the, the conductor. Approximately 32 structures will be installed. Right now, the power sheet is producing 60 megawatts. That we, if we finish this transmission line, it's going to increase to 16 additional megawatts that, it of course, will help the grid in all the matters because it's more power means that other, all other power plants can do maintenance. The grid will not be affected if there is a shutdown in an engine. So it will be very benefit for everybody. For Newsroom, Isanello Pato.